congratulations into the semi-finals in Dubai. You've beaten the US Open champion, the world number three. You can tell what the crowd thinks of that. How big a moment is it for you? Uh, uh, yeah, I'm super happy about my game here. I'm, uh, my goal was to win my match here. I finally did it and I'm happy. I'm having so many matches and playing this uh, incredible venue. Um, she's a great player, a great fighter. I could feel the tension till the last point. So it was very important from my side to stay focused and calm and just do my best and uh, trying to stay aggressive. You did seem to be very calm. You have come through the qualifying competition, so you've played a lot of tennis. How much has that maybe helped you in this big moment now? Uh, yeah, I think it definitely helped to get uh, the rhythm in the, uh, during qualis. Um, so yeah, I don't regret coming here, definitely. Um, yeah, I'm so far I'm super happy about my performance. And you now have your first WTA 1000 semi-final. Your reward is the world number one, Iga Swiatek, in that semi-final. You haven't played her before. What are you expecting? We actually, I played doubles against her that long time ago. Um, yeah, I'm super excited for tomorrow. I will try to recover. Never played against her in singles, so definitely looking forward. Well, we're looking forward to it too. Congratulations, ladies and gentlemen, Anna Kalinskaya into the semi-finals. Do it against number three in the world. So you can see 24 winners for Kalinskaya, but she was putting a lot of pressure on Goff, not allowing her to play her game. I thought she served better than 69%, but I think she did serve well at the crucial point of the match. But too many on forced errors and Coco Goff today wasn't her best. A lot of the errors coming from her forehand side.